everybody and welcome to Pop Up Art Cafe. I am Audrey Galix and I'm so glad you're with us. We are along busy Ponce de Leon in downtown Decatur and with me is Amy Alfersi. We're in front of her gallery, Gallery Amy. And before we go on, I am gonna put this hat up. I know I look like the guy on the Quaker Oats box, but <laughs> you know, you can't really see me. She can't really see me. Amy, thanks so much for you're welcoming very us. You're welcome, my pleasure. Now, I know that this gallery was a dream come true for you. How did you make it happen? Well, sheer will and grit and uh, some money also. <laughs> that always helps. <laughs> and uh, love of art, love of uh, jewelry, love of uh, beauty. Uh, and um, I just, uh, you know, there's a famous uh, uh, Israeli leader who said, if you will it, it is no dream. So... That probably sums it up. And this dream came true for you at the ripe young age of 64. That's I, right. I understand. Yeah. And I'm hoping perhaps you might inspire other people who have similar dreams I to would make love it to. happen. I would love to because, it, you know, my son said jokingly to me, Mom, you know, at your age, people are pulling back. You're going full force into something major. He said, I said to him, Adrian, just call me a late bloomer. So... That also sums it up. <laughs> now, late, early, as long as you bloom. That's what I that's, figure. And lovely yeah. flowers, by the Thank way. You. So Thank you. Thank you. Glad they're Thank here. You. Uh, we are going to be going inside. It is getting a little hot. A little I am warm. what we say in not French, but yet a schwitzing just a little <laughs> bit. Uh, so, what can we expect to see in your gallery? Well, you can see uh, quite a number of artists, fine artists, of different styles, ranging from realism all the way up to abstract. Uh, Fine artists, mainly from Atlanta, local artists who have a huge amount of talent, and also some very beautiful handmade jewelry by about seven different jewelry designers from uh, really uh, this country and all over the world, and Atlanta in addition. Well, I want to thank you so much for inviting Pop Up Art Cafe to Gallery Amy. Uh, as I said, it's getting a little hot. Why don't we right. go on inside, okay? okay? Jeff Malloy behind the camera. David Doodle, David Callahan, our helper here. And come on, let's go on inside. Okay, great, thank you. everybody now that we're back inside of gallery Amy it's a little cooler on a uh, August day almost it's almost August I'm here with artist Christopher or Chris Sherry as he likes to be called thank you so much for joining us on pop-up art cafe and uh, first of all I think I need to lose the hat what do you think would you uh, kindly uh, throw it over there for me oh thank you oh Woo. yes oh the tresses <laughs> So, uh, you know, first of all, we're sitting in front of a couple of your works. They are lovely. And That's nice for you to say that. Well, you're certainly welcome. You think I'd say otherwise? You know, I don't know. I want you to keep talking yeah, here. Keep going, keep going. So tell us a little bit about each of these, if you would. Uh, actually, when I paint, I try to resolve an issues. So I got a few. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you could say not so much emotional issues, yeah. but, but in this case, I, I like the uh, fact that it's barely visible. So I like the fact that you would have to really look at it. And it's a, it's a very simple painting, really. And the images are just the flowers, and it's like a dancing flowers like in the field. Dancing flowers in the so it's a very simple thing, but it's, I think it's dramatic in the sense that you're forced to look only at certain places. So it's a nice guide. On that second one, it's like a harbor, which is a comp composition of several different places. Uh, that has probably, if any of my students are listening, at least three layers of corrections on it. Now, I understand that this is not an actual scene, but an imaginary. Yeah. In other words, uh, one of the things I try to do, and uh, the probably the famous painter is Robert Henri. He would have his students in one room paint something in another room. And the point was, if you can do it from memory, you put a, these little nuances that make it much more interesting. So when I paint, I try to get an image, then modify it. I have friends who use Photoshop extensively in modifying their photos. So. It's kind of like being airbrushed. If a photo uh, it could be painting. airbrush or implants or <laughs> there you go, a little augmentation, a little pluses and negatives in areas. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Accentuating the positive, perhaps. 
<laughs> well, you, you uh, have worked as an architect. Yes. I'm curious how your architecture training perhaps influences your, your painting, or to the extent that it does. That's a, you know, I always thought of it the other way around, in that my art influenced my architecture. Uh, art was with me probably from the beginning, whereas architecture was a third career change for me. So that concept of art influencing the architecture is where I would go with that. I would just say that architecture was another expression of art, and now you're expressing it in a different way? And now I'm truly doing the art rather than the secondary thing. Architecture is very interesting. You have to be able to solve a problem. And then, of course, take care of people's health, welfare, and et cetera. Whereas in art, I can pretty much come up with my own issue and try to resolve it. So it's a very, it's a bit more freedom, more freedom. And what kinds of issues are you looking to resolve moving forward, perhaps, with your art? Well, uh, right now, my goal would be is to paint what I call figurescapes. And they are segments of the human being. but do it in such a way that they almost appear abstract. I'm still in the paint learning phase, and once I get this under my belt, I will go directly into the other. Well, we're looking forward to observing that, witnessing the that. changes, yes. Is there anything else that I didn't ask that you'd like to add? Eh, maybe even about life, about life expressed in art, well, life as an artist? I think I can push that a little bit further. At my age, I think I have the right to say this. You hear this all the time, do what you love. And it's so sad to learn that at this stage of the game, but it's very, very true. Do what you love. I mean, I'm, I'm in heaven. How can I do more? I mean, I teach it, I live it. My grandkids love the fact that I give them lessons. It's working. Chris Sherry, thank you so much for being with us on Pop <laughs> Thank Up, you for our having cafe. me. Oh, please enjoyed it. You were with us, and thanks to all of you out there for being with us too.